Hey guys, so after playing a little with Windows 10, I found a few ways to add the system to the domain. Now, I don't have a domain here, so I won't be able to show it fully, but I'll just show you where this option is in case that uh, you wonder or need it or whatever. Um, now, from what I can tell you, after using a little bit uh, this Windows 10, also it's a preview, yeah? Uh, so. Uh, it's a nice system. Actually, I like it. I wasn't expecting to find that much or like it that much since this is just a preview. Uh, especially that it's something from Microsoft and uh, the newest things I don't really like. But uh, anyway, uh, Cortana works pretty well, I would say. Now, as you can see, I changed my theme a little to be more orangey, like uh, the color I like. Um, after a certain Windows update that I had before, uh, the system has totally crashed. Now, after it crashed, uh, it tried to recover, but uh, it couldn't. So I wanted to do some advanced stuff in the booting menu that it gives you. And I couldn't since uh, it always told me that it didn't recognize any administrator user on this computer. So, uh, what I've done now, after I reinstalled, and yeah, I had to reinstall the system, I went to uh, the control panel, or if we call it nowadays settings, and um, basically went to accounts and created a, a new user. Um, let me just show you, you go here and you just create a local user and you turn it into an administrator. Um, and I would say that it was kind of more fun to do that on Windows 10 than Windows 7. I don't know, I liked it. Uh, another cool feature that I just want to show you one second is the multi-windows, uh, multi-desktops, let's call it. Basically, I think that uh, Microsoft tried to copy something that uh, we already had on uh, Linux. Um, basically, you just um, you can first of all create a window here. Uh, you go to the task view, and here you create it. You can press Win key plus Tab to go here the same way. And if you want to go from one desktop to another, you press Win key, Control, and left or right keys depending on which desktop you are. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these you can add. But uh, also another thing, you can create a new desktop just by clicking uh, Win key, Control and D. Yeah, here it is. So yeah, you can create uh, desktops and the same way you can close with Win key, Control and F4. Yeah, let's try it again. Yeah, so now I should have only one. Yeah, exactly. Um, cool feature. Uh, I like it. Um, I work with lots of windows and uh, that would be nice. Now one thing, I'm, I can't test it right now, but uh, I'm trying to think of more what I can do with uh, that option at work. Uh, and I figured that maybe it would be possible, for example, if you have uh, two screens, uh, that one screen will show one desktop and the other a different desktop. That would be nice, I'm not sure if it works that way or not. Anyway, uh, let's head out to the domain uh, joining uh, thingy. So, one of the options you can uh, left click with, uh, I'm sorry, uh, right click with your mouse button and uh, you will receive here a menu uh, which you can uh, go from here uh, to system. And here you can see the same uh, computer properties that you can see on Windows 7 if you press uh, properties on the computer. Uh, and as uh, regular Windows 7 you go to change settings, change and join to a domain and that's it. Uh, same way as it was on Windows 7 as you see nothing has changed at all. Except from one thing that now these days they call it this PC instead of computer. Um, I think it's pathetic, but whatever. Uh, another thing, another way to do that is going to start to settings uh, and go into system here. Um, this it is, and go into about. Uh, here you can actually join to a domain as well. Now this is a totally different uh, screen, I think it will be implemented in the properties of uh, the computer settings. 
uh, instead of those uh, that I just show you. If you press join domain here, uh, you will actually see a totally different screen as well. Uh, I'm assuming it will be more compatible uh, with um, newer Windows servers to come and probably new options. Uh, another thing uh, I just can tell you that I just read uh, about uh, RSAT, um, Active Directory, Remote System, Remote, wait a second, Remote, ah, I forgot the full name. Anyway, the RSAT tools uh, which allows you to control your Active Directory from Windows 7 um, are now updated and support Windows 10 as well. So you can go ahead and install it to Windows 10. Um, basically, I think it's fully usable. I know it's kind of surprising for a new preview system, but uh, it's actually usable. I really like it, I didn't play with it too much, but uh, it works pretty nice. Um, basically that's it, that's what I wanted to show you. So, uh, see ya, and have a nice day. Thank you.